Department of Justice in their suggestion? Uh, I'm sure you did. It sounds vaguely familiar. Where the FBI suggested that I could get into selective witness protection so I can stay alive, heal, but I can also have the right to come out and talk when I want to? That sounds vaguely familiar. Uh, there's parts of me thinking I should jump on that bandwagon if I don't find another exit real fucking quick because I finally went to see a friend in Uncle Sam who believes in me and gave me money so I could get a new phone. Um, he's helped me out financially before when I had to go and say, hey, I need some money to make it through the rest of the month alive. God bless him. Um... Anywho, when I got a phone working and contacted uh, her to get bike returned and all my stuff she jacked worth thousands of dollars, uh, if you remember the lady who had an incident in Santa Monica and she got all her stuff taken away and said she was raped? Yeah, yeah. Well, she basically uh, sent back to me in writing. I, first, I called her after I texted her to let her know it was me going to be calling and all my other numbers are compromised because people have found a new way, thanks to T-Mobile and Metro piece of shit, uh, to uh, hack phones very successfully because now they can walk into a store and say, hey, um, I need to do this or that, and they don't check ID. They just say, well, have a temporary pin sent to the number, and they do, so they can take control of a rooted device. They've gone and changed passwords on voicemails that I can still call and leave messages thinking it's on my phone, but I can't access it because they've changed passwords. Sometimes they've answered and told me they bought the phone, and it has unlimited service, and they're going to keep the phone, and they've found ways to bypass the tracking information and lock into Fort Knox information and hack into Intel that these people should not have access to see, including, uh, I'm missing probably about 300 gig of video chips that uh, this lady says she trashed with all my other stuff, and other cell phones worth hundreds of dollars. I mean, yet all together, it's not a pretty picture. Part of me says I should go and lean on the police who already had an open police report saying she's going to give me this shit back in two hours, and make it very clear to them that if they don't get my shit back that there's going to be some very serious legal problems for it because they let him drive away with my shit in the first place. I'm pissed, dude. 300 gig of footage of stuff that should not be floating in free world with people getting access to it could get some people definitely killed. Uh-huh. This bitch is trying to set me up and then telling me to go pound sand. She doesn't owe me a fucking thing when she induced me to go with her under the pretense we were going to go up to Pacific Palisades. If anything of mine got lost or misplaced, she would replace it immediately. And I was going up there so I could talk to some attorney and show her the footage. Then we go, after she gets me in her car where there's some kind of drug that she's obviously used to, where I get so sick I'm nearly shitting and vomiting and sweating and banging her to turn up the AC and give me some water and she's laughing and drives around for five minutes and we pull over a half a mile away where I could have fucking rode my bike and not even began half of this fucking nightmare that she started for me. But my concern is if I light her up with the cops or the feds that she also has... A lot of other things she's told me about her gangster friends she hangs with that I wasn't pursuing that now she is throwing me in the middle of telling him that I'm an FBI agent or I'm a federal attorney. Nothing that's public record that you could Google like, you know, I'm a federal contractor, I'm a humanitarian, I was put out here by a fucking State Department against my better conscience to do certain things and asked to stay by people in the State Department who I think should fucking pay for every day they've made me stay out here. Dude, this wasn't my choice to be out here in the first place, as you fucking well know. And now, this bitch is setting me up and telling me to go pound sand, and I've been almost two weeks without my stuff, with a hernia, and just borrowed some money from some people up in Hollywood to go buy a pair of pants to stay warm at night because I've been freezing my fucking nuts off for two weeks? I'm pissed. So I'm not sure I leaned on somebody I know in the county who said they could help expedite things and told them this is my new number and if they're getting out the calls or whatever, I need to expedite, I need to get off the street in a hurry. I also just released rights to my life story 
to be exploited by somebody in Texas who I've been working on with some film projects for the last, I don't know, five or ten years that we've been trying to get off the ground back and forth, but we keep getting shortcutted by these little mishaps that keep happening with after, say, Uncle Sam or anybody else who decides Kurt doesn't need to release any more footage today, if you get what I'm talking about. And I told him, you know, with consent of you and I, if there's something that's going to be detrimental to you or I, he's got to consult. But anything that can be used to help exploit the truth and stop the jackasses from making my life miserable and tell the truth about world peace, exploit it. Blow it up in world media any way we can right now. It's time to get out from under. I told him I need to get into a safe house where I pick the staff that's working for me, not Uncle Sam. They can help pay for it because, God damn it, they deserve to. But I'm not going to have them decide who locks Kurt away and doesn't get to talk. If I need to release a statement about some shit happening, that's my right to do as I have done my entire life for world peace or for humanitarian and rights, and they can fuck themselves. Probably not, which means they're, they're not, probably not ever going to have to pay for it. Not. Which means they're not going to end up paying for it. Which I'm means trying. we're going to have to have, raise enough private money to do it, or I'm just going to have to find rocks to hide under until these motherfuckers finish out blowing up the planet. Because I am done taking hits for this shit. And I'm done with people and Uncle Sam telling me, stay out a little longer and we need your help and we got your back. Oh, bullshit, you got my back against the fucking wall, you pieces of shit. This is not fun. And what's funny is every new person I bump into on the street, like this lady I bumped into this morning, babbles something that seems like, what the fuck? This one actually told me to Google two things she told me about. And it led me right into where the biggest sex traffic stuff is made public. And it talks about all kinds of cops being involved in government people. And why did they put me out here in the middle in the first place to help them find this shit when they could have looked up that humanity... <sighs> this human plex project that they got going on that I sent you some information on have you ever heard of that organization before no it's on the internet talks very openly about sex trade here in southern California and where to get it and how to get it and people involved in it what the fuck did they put me out in the middle digging in this gravesite for in the first place I don't know boy I'd sure like to know why Bradley Chester, the State Department, got reassigned when he was the one who said, yes, we know what's going on with the traffic and the identity theft and what happened with Hollywood PD, and we need you to stay out there a little longer to get more information. And then he disappeared, you know, within a couple of months of working with him, and somebody else that told me with the FBI, now the FBI... You need to stop calling those people. You need to stop listening to those people. Dude, those people, as you well remember, were calling the office in Detroit and were calling me. They called first. I didn't call them. Don't call. Don't, don't return the call. Don't answer the call. If you pick up and it's them, say no thanks and hang up. Oh, that'll leave me even farther out on a clothes hanger. Wow. All right. Any other good suggestions today on how to get in without getting whacked in the process? Yeah. Stay away from the psychos like this woman. Who exposed me to the information that's right in the middle of everything that I've been... Stop throwing. getting involved with those people. I didn't... I just sat on a bench, dude, and she said, do you know about? And you said, yeah, and I don't care. And Jimmy Crackhorn. Okay, great. That always goes yep. over well to stay alive. Ah... <sighs> Thanks. Or say, no, I don't know, and I don't want to know. Go away. Yeah, I already know too much about too many projects. My head's about to implode. Don't make it explode in front of you. Oh, my God, dude. Anyone you meet out there on the streets, on the beach, they're out there for a reason. Or they're out here because they were sent here for a reason. And that's also well, turned out to be a case, too. Some people aren't as stupid and derelict as they look. On drugs, they're spending their money on drugs, or they're hanging out because they got drugs, or they were sent there by people you just should not be dealing with. Right, because they don't have my best interest in the first place. But you need to tell these people, go away. Hmm. No, I don't know. I don't want to know. Go away. Shut up. Go away. Well, oddly enough, some of the people that I've known over the years, some decades, literally out here, have revealed some very fascinating information to me recently, which don't kind care. of brings everything full don't, circle. Don't, don't care. Don't want to hear it. Good idea. Smart man. <sighs> See, it's just like that. Don't know. Don't care. Don't want to hear it. 
Uh huh. Even when they're bringing up people from like 20 years ago, doesn't like doesn't matter. Exes. 20 years ago, 20 years ago is ancient history. Doesn't matter. Uh, sometimes ancient history connects the dots too, though, Bill. Doesn't matter. Yeah, you know, I just need the dots to get out of this fucking matrix circle they threw me in the middle of. You need to get your ass into a hospital and get your medical issues fixed. So don't even do a police report on all the theft and all the stuff missing so I cover my uh, ass on that front? You can waste your time all you want. I don't care. It's your time to waste. That's true, because when have they ever solved any of the fucking do you mysteries? they're going to do anything? No. They aren't going to do a damn thing. They're just going to help prolong the problem. So leave this one care. rest. Okay. They then, don't care. Then... Part of the problem there is there I isn't have, a body, If there isn't a body on the 6 o'clock news, they're not going to care. Oh, Dirty Laundry. Yeah, I remember that song well. Thanks, Don Henley. Um, with that news flash in mind, do I even try and get back to Santa Monica where this person is supposed to be helping me from the county state to get into some secure areas? Or do I find somebody else new in a new location try and start over on an emergency path? Because going back you to those areas are dangerous. You need to get yourself checked into a hospital to get your medical issues fixed. Yeah, I'd like to do it out of this town, except right now I can't do that unless I can hold out until I get money in again and fucking bolt. It's hard bolting, though, when you're riding around on a tanker rent-a-bike that somebody left unlocked. I need to get speed to move fast. These people aren't playing fair. No, they aren't, and you need to get to a hospital. I don't care <laughs> where it is. Pick the closest one and go. Here in L.A.? Yeah. Or out of town? The closest one. Is there a hospital across the street from me right now? No, but I understand what you're block. saying. Uh, I can get to one, but what about staying out long enough to repay the person who help me and have money to get out of here as quick as I need to when it happens. If you get into a hospital and you be a good boy for them, you don't give them crap. I don't care what they say. I don't care what they do. You be a good boy. Get it fixed. Get yourself transferred to a rehab place and be a good boy and spend the time you need to recover then you can come out, and by then you're going to have probably two months worth of checks sitting there that you can pick up cash and then go pay back whoever you have to pay back. And you're going to be feeling a lot better. You're going to be a lot healthier, and you're going to be able to, to to do the right things and the things you need to do quickly to get the hell out. My only concern is I should contact the person in Uncle Sam who gave me the money and make sure he's going to be okay to float a couple of months with the money he gave me. Because if he says no, I should at least stay and get the small first check and pay him out and then jump in the hospital. Well, that's up to you. Because he does have a family. He's got, you know, two kids, and he has been a real blessing uh, and has had my back on mail. Uh, you got it. it was, okay, well, yeah, I would uh, at least maybe go see him before you could get, check into a hospital and say... How much are we talking about, by the anyway? Uh, I owe him a hundred bucks plus interest. And I, I, no, he gave me a seven. I told him I'd pay him back one hundred twenty. He gave me like a hundred and seven. I told him I'd pay back one hundred twenty. Okay. Well, if you want to wait till the third when the check arrives and pay him back, that's fine. But you got to understand that what's going to happen to you is as soon as that check hits, you're going to get attacked. You are going to. No, I'm saying don't don't grab the big check. Don't grab the big check. Grab the SAG check that comes in a couple of days before that's like 300 bucks, and pay them out of that. And then that leave the big the check to, to set. My only concern is if I go away for two months, i got to find a way to also get a chipped ID by 2020 because that's a federal law, so i got to get a new passport in place. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. No, it isn't. Did they change it? You do not have to have a chipped ID. The only time you have to have a chipped ID or a passport is to get on a plane or to cross no, no. the border. Even to have a state ID, it has to be chipped by 2020. Google no, 2020 doesn't. chip law. Yeah, it's in effect. No, it doesn't. Then you're reading different federal code than I am. Well, the state of Michigan's giving me different information. What are they saying? 
State of, State of Michigan said, I got an option because I just got the renewal for my driver's license. They said, you can either get the regular one or we can send it to you by mail or if you want to come into our offices, then we can give you a chipped one. But what does it say the about the chipped chip? one is, all, is not required unless you want to get on a plane and a passport or a passport card will serve in place of a chipped ID. That's not the way I read federal code. I'll go Google it again. But my understanding was you had to have a chipped ID before the middle or end of 2020 under federal law, or you can be taken into custody. Fine, well, I'm going to take me into custody. Okay. I don't know that I want that option for them, and I do want the option the second I get out of the hospital to get the fuck out of this country. Well, they can come pick you up anytime they want. What? They can come pick you up anytime you want. No, anytime they, they want. If you have got enough outstanding warrants, if they wanted to pick you up, they would. They would have already done that last but weekend in Santa Monica if they wanted to fuck with me. They don't want to deal with you. That's why every time you get rousted by the cops, they let you go. They don't want to deal with it. Because <laughs> they're getting tired of me paperwork. saying I'm going to bring them up on charges on it. It's too much paperwork. They don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. You know, as long as you're not being violent, you're not attacking people, you're not, not yet. people, but they don't care. They've actually told me I could do that. That's what's fucked up. They would like well, me to get some of the assholes the off the beat. Get, get the small check, pay the guy back, and then get your the small in the hospital. So I got to buy till the end of the week at least. But yeah, you need, when you get there, you need to be a good boy. But, huh. They need to play by some of the rules where they don't start trying to cut my hair off like they did one of the times. They didn't want me to have long hair. I'm sorry, they don't have the right to cut my hair. Anywho, I'll try and be nice. It's their um, hospital. They're making the rules. If you want the medical treatment, you're going to have to play by their rules. Or I find a hospital that agrees on my rules. That's possible, too. I just have to be very selective. Good luck. Yeah. Um, other question. Um, so you're saying pass on all this other shit with this girl. Now, she also asked me to get her links to the video footage. I can get her the links. Do I get them no. to her or fuck her? Let her find no. them. No, screw her. All right, fine. She's history now. If I encounter her, say, unless I get my shit back, find them yourself. Good luck. Yep. Get a court order. All right. Be blessed, brother. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Be safe. I, if you get a call from Gary Rebel, it's only because he's concerned about not violating certain confidences. By what? Gary Rebel, the guy I gave authorization to exploit this and get the truth out. Filmmaker out of Texas. I started the conversation no. out with that. I'm not talking to anybody about anything having to do with you. <laughs> Wow, another smart move on your part. All right, out. So, in other words, don't talk to Bill. I don't know. I don't care. Don't talk to me about it. Come right, on. Be blessed. That's what I'm going to say to <laughs> You are a rock star. Be blessed, brother. Hope to I'll see you soon. Later. All right, bye.